Light on. Set. Line looks good. Away. Snippy Skippy the inside bounced out nice. Hustle and Humph once the lead goes forward, but Snippy Skippy's got superior early speed to lead. Wicket Affair settles back in third spot. Kowloon Kid back fourth. Mont the inside. Should have put a ring on and then prove. And then Manhattan Spirit. Swadaloon getting back out of the firing line. Gets back to second last. Dancers Kin the last one. So Snippy Skippy at the six rolling along. And Wayne Davis has really opened him up. He's out by two in front of the favourite Hustle and Humph who's been chasing from the get-go. About four lengths. Should have put a ring on it. Wicket Affair the inside. The month the inside Manhattan Spirit Kowloon Kid well back before the turn. A gap then dances Kinsawada Loon. They balance up for the run home. Snippy Skippy still the leader. Led by two. Hustle and Humph gets out after it now. Just about on terms. A gap in the field should have put a ring on it. Manhattan Spirit. The Monty inside. Wicked affair. But the favourite Hustle and Humph broke clear inside the 100 metre mark. Got the better of Snippy Skippy. Should have put a ring on it. And the Monty inside. But Hustle and Humph a strong win. Wins it over Snippy Skippy who held on for second. Third I reckon should have put a ring on it. Just in front of the Mont And out deep Manhattan Spirit. Kowloon Kid Wicked Affair, well back Sawada Loon. And Dancers Kin, the last one home. The favourite gets it done. Jared Todd, a double early on Chief Minister's Cup Day. Strong effort in the end, had to chase the tear away leader in Snippy Skippy, who was really running along at the top end. Hustle and Humph was always out of its comfort zone to uh, chase that leader. But coming off a very good uh, win last time out. Got the better of Snippy Skippy, who was starting to feel the pinch inside the 200 metre mark. The favourite got the better of it and has gone right on with the job. Strong effort here in race number two, number three, Hustle and Humph. Now, Snippy Skippy was battling hard, and I think he'll get the second, it will. Number 939 go into the frame in 5735. 3458 that last 600. Now, four and three quarters the winning margin, so he really came away in the end. And David Bates has got uh, this four year old. Gelding in great, uh, going in great form at the moment. Certainly a race. He, I think he was keen to lead Jared, but he, he didn't have much choice because Snippy Skippy showed superior speed out of the gate, but Plan B was quickly in effect and it's been able to come away and score in the end. Now, third goes to seven, should have put a ring on it. That was a tough effort, too. The eight year old mare sticking to the task well. So a couple of those speedy ones hanging on at the top end. And fourth goes to four, the Mont, who got up <coughs> along the inside and uh, is racing pretty well. Four and three quarters by three quarters the margin. The winner three, Hustle and Humph, a four-year-old grey gelding. Reward for effort. Out of credit for BK Parker, Mrs. E.H. Parker, R. Hamill, and Mrs. P.M. Hamill, trained by David Bates. And I reckon that uh, those owners have had horses over the years with David, had good success, and Jared Todd an early double on today's card. So returns to scale, start 21, win four, two minor placings, prize money. Up over the $60,000 mark and Jared Todd right on top of his game early on this afternoon on day two of the Darwin Cup Carnival. Put your hands together, folks. Winner returns. Second goes to nine, Snippy Skippy. Five-year-old Brown Mare. Strategic Manoeuvre Snippet's Dream for Chris Pollard, Wayne Davis. Third, seven. Should have put a ring on it. And eight-year-old Chestnut Mare, Henry Hughes. Beaujolais for Leah Walling Denton, Denton and Paul Denton in the saddle. 57-3-5, four and three quarters, three quarters. We stand by for correct weight. Presentation to follow.